Hello my friends. In today's video, I'll show you how to create this food quiz in PowerPoint. Let's play a food quiz in PowerPoint. These are the instructions for the game. Read them carefully. Let's play. Our first question is to select the Italian food. Let's choose answer A. Oh, it's wrong. The correct answer is pizza. Our next question is to select the correct Mexican food. Let's click on the A. It's correct. Next question is guess the food. Can you guess this? This is a Japanese dish, but I can't remember its name. Can you guess it? Correct answer is sushi. This is our next question. Can you guess the food? Can you recognize this food? I can't recall its name, but this reminds me of a cat, Garfield. The correct answer is lasagna. What do you think? Were french fries made in Greece? I think it's false statement. The origin country of the french fries is Belgium, dating back to the late 1600s. Now the quiz is over. You can play it again or quit the game. Let's see how to create this amazing food quiz. First, insert the background picture. This is the color code for the background picture. Go to insert and add text box. Here I add the quiz name. Change its font type as your preference, change font color to white, and increase the font size to 66. Again, go to shapes and insert the text box again. Insert the text. Change the text type and change text color to white. Now, go to the shape format, click on the edit shape, and click on the rounded rectangular shape. Increase the size of the text. Now go to shape format and insert a shape fill. Here I add fill color as light green. Align text to the middle of the shape. Hold Ctrl and drag it to copy the shape. Here I type quit, and change shape fill to red. Then go to insert and add some vector images. You can get these images from Pixbay. Here I decrease the size of the vector image. It looks amazing. Now duplicate the slide. Here I am going to add instructions to the game. Decrease the font size to 48. Now go to shape format, then edit shapes and select rounded rectangular shape. Change shape fill color to white. Now right click on the shape and go to format shape. Increase the transparency to 77%. Hold control and drag to copy the text box. Here I add some instructions for the game. I renamed this to Let's Play. Then go to insert and add some vector images. Now add a new slide. Then go to insert and add text box. Here I add my first question. Here I add another text box to add question number. Change text type. 
Now go to Shape Format, click on Edit Shape, and select Circle Shape. Select Shape Fill as white, increase transparency, and align it to the middle. Change font color to white. This question is a multiple choice question. I need to add 4 answers for this. Go to Insert, then Shapes, add text box. Now insert answer A. Increase the font size. Go to edit shape and change shape to rounded rectangular. Add white shape outline. Hold control and copy the shape four times. Add another three answers. Now add a few vector images. Now let's add answers for the questions, duplicate the slide. Correct answer for this, is pizza, I fill it with green color. I fill other answers with red color. Now I add the next question. This is also a multiple choice question, and the procedure is same as the first one. Now I link these shapes to the slides. Go to first slide. Select play icon, go to insert, click in the link, and link to the second slide. Now, go to the second slide, click on the play icon, and link it to the third slide. Go to the third slide, and I link these answers to the fourth slide. Now hold control and select third and fourth slides and add morph transition to both slides. It's amazing. Once I click the answer, it automatically shows it's correct or wrong. Follow the same procedure for second question. Let's add our next question. First, add a new slide. Now copy and paste this icon and rename it to number 3. Decrease the size of the image. Move it to the middle. Now insert a text box and type the question. Let's create an answer slide for this. First, duplicate the slide. Remove the picture and the shapes. Rename this as answer 3. Insert text box and add answer. Add morph transition to the seventh slide. Add reveal transition to the 8th slide. Now link this question to answer slide. Now let's create the next question. First, add a new slide. Add the question. Align it to the center. Now everything thing is done with the fourth question. Let's add answer for it. Duplicate the eighth slide.
Now add the answer. Align it to the center. Here I add picture of the lasagna. Add reveal transition to the 10th slide. Link this shape to the next slide. Now I add my last question. This procedure is the same as questions 1 and 2. Now everything is done. I add my last slide to this. This is my last slide. The procedure is same as the first slide. Here I add two tabs, you can play the quiz again or you can quit the game. I link this tab to the game instructions slide. It's amazing. Here I create another slide for the quit page. Link this quit buttons to the last page. Now, everything is done. Let's see our final results. Let's play a food quiz in PowerPoint. These are the instructions for the game, read them carefully. Let's play. Our first question is to select the Italian food. Let's choose answer, A. Oh, it's wrong. The correct answer is pizza. Our next question is to select the correct Mexican food. Let's click on the A. It's correct. Next question is guess the food. Can you guess this? This is a Japanese dish, but I can't remember its name. Can you guess it? Correct answer is sushi. This is our next question. Can you guess the food? Can you recognize this food? I can't recall its name, but this reminds me of a cat, Garfield. The correct answer is lasagna. What do you think? Were French fries made in Greece? I think it's false statement. The origin country of the French fries is Belgium, dating back to the late 1600s. Now the quiz is over. You can play it again or quit the game. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button and share among your friends. Goodbye until we meet again.